Hello, hello, hello. I am author and entrepreneur, the cerebral palsy, vigilante, Zachary Bunnell. Time to blast that road trip playlist because the spoilers warning alarm is going off, which means it is time to review another speechless episode. Today, we review episode 20 of season 3 on the Arrow Road AG again. If you have not yet seen through this episode, be warned. Spoilers are about to begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In a way, On the Road Again accurately replicates the experience of an actual road trip. There was a lot to like, but at the same time, some less than enjoyable moments. Let me start with my negative feedback so we can get that out of the way. Probably the most glaring issue to me was Dylan's side story. As the DeMiles discuss their situation after a bumpy road gives their van two flat tires, Dylan finds a quarter. She then joins Jimmy and JJ as they take the tires to the closest gas station to be patched up. Story-wise, Dylan coming along with them happens so she can spend her newfound fortune. If Dylan's five years younger, this works. However, the character is too old to get excited by a quarter. Dylan's presence in the episode is important. The quarter was just a lazy method to have her tag along Jimmy and JJ. A better story to have told was to have Dylan join Jimmy and JJ so she could read JJ's communication board. After all, reading JJ's board while carrying one of the tires could get awkward for Jimmy. Then, once at the diner across from the gas station, Dylan could ditch her brother and father to flirt with a cute guy. This creates the opening for the accidental father-son one-on-one time. Also getting one-on-one -on -one interaction in this episode was Maya and Kenneth. Some of the material, however, felt over the top to me, even for a sitcom. Throughout On the Road Again, the two are either feuding or best friends. I would have enjoyed seeing a bit more of a middle ground. With that said, what Maya and Kenneth were feuding over was caring for JJ. Maya's JJ care book gets washed away downstream, leaving her to have to recreate the book from memory. Or maybe not. Kenneth surprises Maya, revealing Kenneth made a copy of JJ's care book. Maya's elation quickly turns to anger when she sees Kenneth has made changes to the book. JJ Care Book 2.0, as Kenneth calls it. This is an excellent subject. Maya represents every well-intended parent out there who closes down to feedback, taking the attitude, nobody knows my child better than me. Meanwhile, Kenneth represents 
everyone who has spent enough time with the same child to bring a different but knowledgeable perspective. In the end, the child best benefits when both sides come together. On a more universally relatable matter, we return to JJ and Jimmy. Well, Dylan off at the prize machines to spend her quarter, Jimmy and JJ find themselves with some one-on-one -on -one father son bonding time. JJ admits being nervous for college to which Jimmy offers emotional support. Jimmy even mentions how being nonverbal could be an asset for JJ. Everyone in college likes to talk about themselves. Just ask a question and let people talk about themselves. And that was Jimmy's advice. But anyways, that is not where the universal relatability comes in. That emerges with JJ and Jimmy realizing how much they were going to miss each other once JJ leaves for college. Watching, I recalled the emotions I felt moving weekend freshman year. Like most teenagers, I was eager to get away from my parents. But once mom and dad left after finishing moving me into my dorm room, a ping of sadness hit. I realized I would not be seeing them every day anymore. A powerful realization. Truly, I think anyone who has the experience of going off to college, who, who has had a child or sibling go off to college, will be able to relate to JJ and Jimmy's emotions in this episode. That relatability combined with the subject matter at the center of Maya and Kenneth's story arc, not to mention an entertaining Ray story arc, which I literally did not mention here, successfully compensates for the episode's lagging elements, leaving me to get speechless episode 20 of season 3 on the road again the above average rating of 8 out of 10. But what did you think? Share your rating from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best in the comments below along with a Expl brief explanation of why you your rating is what it is. Also be sure to rate this video by clicking the thumbs up icon to show you have enjoyed today's review. For more speechless episode reviews and other cerebral palsy and disability related videos, be sure you are subscribed to my channel and have rung the bell icon to receive email notification every time I release a new video. I have some exciting videos uh, coming soon. Until then, remember, don't blend in, blend out.